Hi everyone. And welcome to this channel. In this video, we will quickly review the ECG criteria for left ventricular hypertrophy, or LVH. So, let's begin. First, a brief recap of what is the pathophysiology of ECG changes in left ventricular hypertrophy. The left ventricle hypertrophies in response to pressure overload, secondary to conditions such as hypertension and aortic stenosis. Left ventricular mass is increased, and there is net increased voltage on the left side, than on the right. This results in increased or wave amplitude in the left-sided ECG leads, that is, lead 1, AVL, and V4 to V6. And, there is increased S-wave depth in the right-sided leads, that is, lead 3, AVR, and V1 to V3. And, this is the basis of voltage criteria of ECG for LVH. The thickened LV wall leads to prolonged depolarization, and there is also delayed repolarization. This prolonged depolarization causes increased R-wave peak time, and delayed repolarization causes ST and T-wave abnormalities in the lateral leads. This is the basis of non-voltage ECG criteria for LVH. We will learn about voltage and non-voltage criteria in a while. Coming to our main topic, which is ECG diagnostic criteria for LVH. ECG criteria include voltage criteria and non-voltage criteria. Voltage criteria must be accompanied by non-voltage criteria to be considered diagnostic of LVH. Coming to voltage criteria first. There are numerous voltage criteria for LVH. And some criteria use voltage calculations in precordial leads and others in limb leads. Just to remind you, Height of one small square on ECG is equal to one millimeter. First, we will take criteria that uses precordial leads voltage calculations. The most commonly used criterion is sokolov lyon criteria, which is S-wave depth in V1 when added to the tallest R-wave height in either V5 or V6 is more than 35 millimeters. That is, more than 35 small squares in total. Other voltage criteria that are used besides sokolov lyon are R wave in V4, V5 or V6 greater than 26 mm. Largest R wave plus largest S wave in precordial leads greater than 45 mm. Now, criteria that uses limb leads for voltage calculations. R wave in lead 1 plus S wave in lead 3 is more than 25 mm. R wave in AVL is more than 11 mm. R wave in AVF greater than 20 mm in amplitude. S wave in AVR more than 14 mm. What are the non voltage criteria of LVH? Remember? What was said before? That voltage criteria must be accompanied by non-voltage criteria to be considered diagnostic of LVH. So, now we come to non-voltage criteria. These include Increased R-wave peak time greater than 50 milliseconds in leads V5 or V6. What is R-wave peak time or RWPT by the way? Before proceeding further, few words about it. Our wave peak time is the time from onset of earliest Q wave or R wave to the peak of the R wave in the lateral leads. It represents the time taken for depolarization to spread from the endocardial to the epicardial surface of left ventricle. Our wave peak time is said to be prolonged if it is greater than 45 milliseconds. Second non voltage criterion for LVH is ST segment depression and T-wave inversion in the left-sided leads. This is also known as left ventricular strain pattern. There are some additional ECG changes as well in LVH. You may be able to find left atrial enlargement. There is left axis deviation. ST elevation in the right precordial leads. 
That is, ST segment is discordant to the deep S waves from V1 to V3. Prominent U waves, proportional to the increased QRS amplitude. Having talked about different ECG criteria for LVH, it must be kept in mind however that, voltage criteria alone, are not diagnostic of LVH. ECG changes are an insensitive means of detecting LVH. Patients with left ventricular hypertrophy diagnosed on echocardiography may still have a relatively normal ECG. What conditions lead to LVH? Most common is hypertension. Other causes include aortic stenosis, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, aortic regurgitation, mitral regurgitation, and coarctation of the aorta. And this is it for this video. We hope you found this video very useful. If so, please click the like button and share with your colleagues. Also subscribe to our channel to get latest video uploads notifications.